So, what do you have to do? Well, first of all, you gotta create your store. And you can start selling products that you have on Shopify on Facebook using a Facebook page. So let's go and get started. So the first thing you want to actually do is to go about and create your own Facebook page. Now, take a look at all the different Facebook pages that I have created over the years. As you can see, lots of them that I have created and some of them for myself, some of them for other people just like you. Now, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Facebook page and use it and integrate it with Shopify. So the next thing we're going to go and do is to create a Facebook page. I press on create a Facebook page and we have six different choices. The best one I think is either local business or a place or a brand or a product. The problem is with using a local business or a place, it's going to ask me for the physical address. Since we are only going to be selling stuff online, so we really don't need that part. So let's go into where it says brand or product. It says choose a category and this one is not really that important. You can pick anything you like here and it's going to make no difference almost whatsoever. So let's pick the one that most resembles the brand and create a doggy stylish shop. That's gonna be the name of my shop. Now, this is more important because once you create and you put a name here, it is a real pain for you to go about and change it. Most of the time you probably won't. It's easier just to go and start a new one. So make sure you think about a brand a name that you want to represent your business with and post it in here. Press on get started. Now it's asking me to add a Facebook profile picture to my actual Facebook page. To do so I have to go to Pixel Bay and search for something amazing. This is a free search engine and it is without any copyright. The great thing about this is that nobody's gonna sue me or it's gonna get me in trouble for using their image. This is awesome. So let's choose one that represents my brand. Ooh, this one looks super cute. Let's pick this one. Now you can pick whatever you like, but I do suggest you take your time in picking the image that's gonna represent your brand. Another thing you have to think about when you're picking the image, think about how this is gonna represent your sales. Is it going to give you more sales? More people are likely to click on your profile? Is it going to represent your brand? That is very important. So you can use those images. Oh, this one is even better. See, by taking a little bit more time, I found an even better image for us. The only thing that is missing here in Pixel Bay, there is no logo. And for logos, we have to go to Fiverr. So over here we have to type in logo, design, and now we have a bunch of different choices here that we can pick from. Some of those logos are as cheap as 10 bucks and there is a lot of them here. So you can pick one that works best for you and start to order one that's going to be custom made just for your business. Now there is a few things that are very important here. For example, you can take and pick a top rated person who does this. But here's the issue. You gotta pay him lots of money for the premium ones. For the basic, it might take a lot longer for you to get it. And sometimes it's not gonna look as good as you want. But hey, we're just starting out, so basic is gonna be great for you. You can also get somebody who has not designed as many logos themselves. He can probably get you even a better deal, technically. Well, Depends, like this guy, for example, didn't design so many, but look at his whooping price for that premium. We just picked the wrong guy. We gotta pick the correct dude for us to do this. So we have to go for another logo. And this one looks good. I will design a logo within 48 hours. The price is only 10. The premium is expensive, but let's take a look at the logos. Maybe we find something that we like here. Oh, I like this one. So next, if you like the one that he's doing for you, you go to the basic one. And before you go and proceed, 
make sure you go and ask him a question. Press on contact me, find out what is included, and get a few logos for your company. Now let's go back to the Facebook page and add the image that we actually wanted. So upload a photo. We wanted this one. So let's add it in here. That's going to be the Facebook page. Next, it's going to be the cover photo. That's the big image. To get the big image, we are going back right here and we're going to be finding a better image for us to use. So let's see one that's going to get us some attention. Ooh, this is okay, but that's not great. We want a great image. Stuff for puppies. That's going to be actual name of the store. No, not really name, but what our shop really represents. There's not much here going here that I like, so let's press on next page. There's 12 pages to go. You can go through this for a very, very long time until you find something you like. I think something funny or cute is going to do it. Playing on the beach. Um, that looks good. Him swimming. That actually is what I like. Now, why did I pick this one? This one looks interesting. You want to get something that draws attention. And be careful here. Those are the sponsors' images. Those are not free. And if you press on them, it goes to the paid site where you have to pay actual money to get the license for this image itself. And that's not really worth it for me. But maybe for you it is. So over here you have to create your account which is free. And it doesn't say how much you have to pay for this item. But it's probably going to be pretty steep. Now let's go back to our Facebook page. Upload the cover image that we just got. Here we go. The doggy swimming. And now this is how it's going to actually look like. And the first thing it's asking us to do here is to publish our first post. So let's go and do that. Welcome to our... Uh, something like that. Press on publish. Here we go, we have the first post up. Now when you have the first post up, you can go press right here and pin this all the way to the top so it's always showing up in the first page and all the way at the top itself. Now there's a few things we can do here. One of which it's asking us to do is to turn on reviews. So let's go and do that. Allow visitors to review this page, yes, and save changes. Since we're already here, let's go and press on edit page. And over here, we have the template for it. It was standard, but we can change it and change it to a different kind of templates. That is the business template. Let's go and use that one. Apply template and press on OK. Next thing, we have the different menus inside here. We have to go and add a new tab, which is going to be a shop tab. You see that? Well, it says shop, add the tab right there. Press on OK. Go and move it all the way to the top. Move the reviews to the top. And that's it. So we're done with that. And it automatically saves it for you. There's other things you can do here as well. You can go add Instagram to this. You can go and do some extra things here also, such as messaging. It gives you extra settings here if you want to do this, such as the response assistant. That is awesome. Let's turn this on. So yes, and it's going to respond immediately with already a message that was written there. If you don't like the message, go over here, press on change and type in a different kind of message right here. You can really personalize this. And you can even put an email address right here that they can go and contact you just in case. The next thing that we will actually be doing after we've done this part, we're going to go where it says add a button right here. And now, what we want people to do is to make a purchase. So one thing we can do here is press on book services. All we can do is make a purchase or donation. I want to make a purchase where it says shop now. And over here, we can link this directly to our Shopify store. So let's type it in. So add the button right there. And now we have updated this page to say shop now. That is great. So this looks a lot more professional than it used to before. 
Now there's a few things that we can do here as well. Page roles. Let's go into this. We can assign an admin to go and edit this page with ourselves as well. So if you have a partner, this is the way you go about this. So type in their name and put in it here. And we're going to be adding them as advertiser and let's press on add. Just to use the password right here and press on submit. This person is going to be in charge of this page along with me. So now that we did this, the next thing it's asking us to do is to add a short description. So let's press on here and put it in. Stylish dog shop. So here is what I actually did here. I wrote in exact sentence that's going to totally describe what I'm selling here. Stylish dog shop, buy awesome things for your favorite four-legged friend. Or maybe friends. Maybe you have more than one dog. So friends. And press on save right here. So I did the description. Next, it's asking to create a username for your page. Next step. That's going to be the username for this and create a username right now. And there we go. When you did this, it automatically creates a shortcut for this page. And you can use something super small for people to visit it. This is awesome. Now, next thing you can do is invite a bunch of your friends to go about and check out what you're selling, but it is not time yet for you to do so. You want to have at least a thousand people to like this page, but before you go about and get those thousand people in here, you want to have everything for sale posted on this. Now you can go and promote this also using Facebook ads, but it's not yet ready for that step as well. So let's go and press on shop right here. So it's asking us to agree to the terms of service. Oh yes, I do agree. So press on continue. Now, we can go and do checkout directly on Facebook or checkout on another site such as Shopify. That's right, I want people to buy stuff from Shopify itself. And it is way more secure than just using it on Facebook. Now press on continue. US dollars will be the currency and press on save. Next thing I'm gonna be doing here is posting the things that I want to sell. And it is super easy and simple for you to do this. All you have to do is press on add products. And now here is the awesome thing about this. The most awesome thing is that not only you can add images, you can also add a video to tell how awesome this product actually is. Now, you can't do this anywhere else. So this is one of the reasons you should definitely put a lot of extra effort in creating your own amazing Facebook page. So let's go into one of the things that I'm selling. Here is the product itself. I'm going to be saving the image right here. Here is another one right there. I'm just going to be picking a few of those, saving it as well. And now what I'm going to be doing is going back in here and filling this whole thing up. So let's add the videos, select the images right here. There we go. Right there. Number one image is selected. Use photo right here. We have another image that we can use here as well. So let's go back. Pick the second image right here. And you can add a lot of images in here if you like. In fact, it lets you add plenty of them, but you don't want to put too much in here because maybe you want to direct them to the Shopify store. Maybe that is what you want to do instead. So think about toys before you put a lot of images in here, if it's not really necessary for you to do this in the first place. So let's go back in here. And now, since we're selling one of those items in here, we're not going to go and add that you can select four different ones when you can select only one in this listing. So let's go add one of them in here. And here is the price of the product that they'll buy. So the price is $23.98, but we're going to go and put this product on sale. So first of all, we're going to hike the price up a little bit, then say this price of the product is on sale. So if they buy it on Facebook, it's going to be 23 bucks. Why is it 23? It has to be the same price as over here because they're going to go here 
anyways to check out let's go and put that in description of the product go back in here and just copy and paste since you already created hopefully all the description I'm gonna go and copy and paste it in here just like that now next thing is check out URL check out URL copy and paste right here now one thing I want you to know is that you can do this and it doesn't have to be just on Shopify when you're selling on Facebook you can go and sell this in anywhere you actually like so this shop could be a multi-level shop it could be selling things on Shopify it could be selling things on eBay it could sell things on Etsy all combined in one location so that is great news for you in creating this shop you're actually directing people to more than one place at the same exact time and next thing is show this product on your page and it's going to be public now we're going to be pressing on save so there we go we have created our first product for sale we're going to be adding another one up now I'm going to be adding this one for my Etsy shop so let's go into Etsy itself let me pick in this product right here pressing on that one so let's go about and pick the ones we want to use save image as right here one number two number three number four you can just grab every single one of them if you want but I want to grab the best looking ones I'm copying the description going back to the shop here is the name now you don't want to have one as long as the one that stays on Etsy so dog nose magnets go we're going to be adding them right here select the file here are all the images and you can add a lot of images using Facebook that's the cool thing about this here I just got the wrong image uncheck it right now use the photos I actually want and over here you can go and edit the photo so let's say for example one of the pictures we have here this one we're going to be editing it I don't like how it looks so I'm going to look if I can make it look even better by changing some of those things in here so look at this this looks better than the original the original was dark now it's so much lighter next thing we can go we can crop this we can make it small if we want we don't want to do that and we have a sticker here Ooh, look at those stickers okay in love oh yeah of course doggy putting this right here I don't know I, I like the original maybe we shouldn't have this so let's just save it like that okay I did this and it looks so much better now now the price so let's go back to our Etsy shop it starts at fifteen ninety eight so let's go and put this in also since it's going to be on sale we have to mark the price a little bit higher so the manufacturer suggested price for me is going to be 21.98 but since this product is on sale we're going to go and put 15.98 right here next thing we will be doing is adding the description of this product so let's go in here where it says the details we're going to be copying almost the entire description in here let's go and copy oh I want the rest of it which is Instagram Twitter Facebook and all those other awesome handles that's gonna get people to our shop so let's put this in there we go we have everything else in here but now we have to make sure the description is correct and we are just selling one product over here now we're gonna go back and get the entire listing domain out of it we're gonna be copying that and pressing on paste right here so now we got all of it out I'm gonna go and press on save and now we have a second product that's gonna get live and show up right here before that you probably seen there was a few lag a few moments of real excitement here well nothing was showing up and I thought oh what happened do I have to start again well no you didn't all I had to do is refresh the page and here it is it is processing right now so what we're going to be doing is adding a bunch of cool products to the shop and getting a lot of them in here now here is another cool thing you can do here is to organize it by collections let's go press on by collection 
and add a new collection. This collection is going to be called dog magnets and press on add product right here dog magnets and press on add so it is going to be organized now by the different kind of collections in here the featured products and the dog magnets also we can get other dog featured stuff in this page as well so that's the things that you can do here this is really really cool things that you can do with facebook now we are not even done yet we're just getting started with the publicity with facebook so what should you do next well you gotta get a bunch of dog lovers to go and check out this page so to do this we just have to type in dog in search and press on groups so what we want to do here is add a bunch of groups that have something to do with dogs now if you're selling something else look at this wow look at this group 459 thousand people join this group unfortunately it doesn't let you advertise in it which is not cool because that's what i really wanted to do but there's always a ways to sneak around this look at the publicity look how many people are going to be start talking to you if you start posting so it says just dog pictures well no nah, that's not really gonna work what i wanted so this group is not the right for me that means I have to go and find a group that's right for me and join it. There's a lot of different groups here that I can join here and it will let me advertise in them. Now one thing before you go and join one of those groups such as I joined right here, check out how many people are members of it. This one has 13,000 people. That's a lot of people still. And we can go and put a post right here, you see one pending approval. Well. Some of those groups, they go and decide if the item is right for you, others don't. So you want to find groups that let you have instant approval. In fact, here is more groups that are recommended by the admin. But those groups are quite small, so I'm not going to actually use them. So what you can do here is very simple. You can go and write a post in some of those groups. You can ask them kind of different questions. You can post a photo. You can engage with the group itself, get them interested, and eventually get them going. To your facebook page in fact one thing i totally suggest for you to do is ask them to like your facebook page and get as many likes as you can eventually when you get over a thousand likes it is time for you to go and grab a bunch of your friends to check out this page or of course if you're not there yet you want your friends to help you out and link this page up get your friends to go about and say that they like this page itself so you can definitely do that as well. So there we have it. We totally finished creating this awesome page. And now it's time for us to go and boost it. That's right, boost the page. And if I boost it, it's going to reach up to 200. So there we have it. I finally finished this awesome page. And now it's time for us to build this into a brand new, awesome new business. And to get started, all I have to do is to press on boost post it's going to reach up to 660 new people for only three bucks that is super cheap so i'm pressing on boost post right here so there we have it i've totally finished this page and this is how it's going to look like on facebook if i do decide to boost this post so people can go and press on like the page they can comment in it they can go and type in something or they can go and shop and buy something that is awesome in my page itself the easiest thing for them to do here is to go about and start buying things in here. And before we can go and start getting people to buy stuff, we got to get some publicity using Facebook ads. That is the quickest and fastest way to get really cheap publicity. So let's press on boost post right here. And it's only going to cost us three bucks to get this featured for over 660 people. This is just for one day. Imagine how many we can get for a lot more than one day itself. The minimum budget for one day is a buck. The budget itself has to be around seven dollars for us to be able to pick up this ad. Now the spending limit is lower than the budget for this promotion. So we have to increase the limit by 10 bucks. But look at this, I increased the budget. It went even higher, 2,400 people 
for 14 days you have to increase the budget once again and we're going to choose our own right here we're going to be putting at least 50 bucks in here 12,000 people so definitely the more people that you're going to be showing this to the more likely you're going to get a lot more responses 8 million people that are interested in dog and dog related kind of stuff here